In response to the political and humanitarian crisis, the EU has sought to facilitate conditions leading to free and transparent elections and offering humanitarian uh, relief by uh, promoting dialogue, adopting sanctions, offering humanitarian aid, and lastly, by providing um, electoral observation missions. There were few internal disputes about most of EU objectives, though there were some disagreements on how to reach them. The EU failed to achieve unity on the recognition of Juan Guaido as a legitimate interim president. Standing for or against recognition was found to be uh, correlated with the political composition of member state governments and their view of EU's role in the world. There were some disagreements on the relevance of sending electoral observation missions, though eventually this garnered enough support to send a mission in 2021, the first since 2006. Regional fragmentation disputes between countries in the Latin American region and the fragmentation of regional cooperation frameworks made it difficult to achieve progress on the goals set out of the EU's foreign and security policy. Divisions on the Venezuela issue inside the Organization of American States and in the community of Latin American Caribbean states hampered regional efforts and led to difficulties for the EU cooperation with the region. Multipolar competition was a key obstacle for the EU's objectives in Venezuela. While the US and the EU strongly condemned the Maduro regime, imposed sanctions and froze diplomatic relations with Caracas, China and Russia helped the regime circumvent sanctions and continued trade, including in arms. The EU should draw on its many different instruments to help contribute to free elections in 2024 and encourage the implementation of the Electoral Observation Commission's recommendations in its reports of 2021. The process must be inclusive and locally grown. The EU should continue to back regionally owned mediation processes and engage in dialogue with other countries who may contribute to a solution of the crisis, as it was at the conference hosted in Bogota in April 2023 by the Colombian President Gustavo Petro. The EU should also concentrate its efforts on continuing to provide humanitarian aid to Venezuela. This is one of the areas where the EU has the biggest success and great potential for impact. Channeling this through NGOs and international organizations can help ensure public support and avoid the politicization of the humanitarian aid. The war on Ukraine has transformed the situation given Venezuela's capacity to supply much needed oil. Certain sanctions have been relieved, although under certain conditions. The EU must ensure that the relief of restrictive measures does not impede progress towards political dialogue and humanitarian relief.